Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Knights have been outstanding in conference play all season long, and finally, the finish line is in sight. This is when it is at a premium that you must execute. You must be precise if you want to finish the drill and wind up on top. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. teams here today and it's time for the war on i4 and now it's time for the coin toss and it's brought to you by coke zero real coca-cola taste zero calories enjoy everything as the ball set how he wants it and we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Senior class taking the home field for the final time. And no matter what you've done before, you always want to get a win in your last home game. We'll see how they do. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. ball into his hands that's how you catch a football it's second and six ball on their own 32 fires it out and he's taken down at about the 45 nice pickup as they connect on the pass play but they look to be in sync right now they're both reading the defense properly and the result is a nice game Freeman's the kind of guy that's work ethic really pays off. Right now, he's playing some special football and leading the conference statistically. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 49-yard line. Bring him down at the 36. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. First and 10. Ball on the 36 yard line. Gives it to the back. Gets out to around the 28. That makes it second and two. And he's tackled the 17 yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, it, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Ridgeway gets another handoff. Nice run there. Ridgeway comes away with five yards on the carry. Here's the eighth play of the series. Good 
job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 12-yard line, third down. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Central Florida could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away. Off the upright and in. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Tackle at the 25. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Tailback brought down for a loss. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. Runs with it, and he's got room. And they make the stop at about the 31. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. Third down. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 31. He hits him hard at the 41. First down. Two times, two times. Go down, go down. Mike, Mike, get to one. Mike, get to one. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 44. And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll make it 31. And he has it on the corner. He's at the 40. And down he goes at about the 33-yard line. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now, they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in. But they have to finish the job. And the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. First and 10, ball on the 33. This is the eighth play of this drive. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 3-0, Knights. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. He fights forward to about the 30. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here.
incomplete. Broken up. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Central Florida is up a field goal. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. From their own 30-yard line, second down. To that quickly. Tackle around the 48 yard line. From their own 48 yard line, it's first down. Complete intended for his wide outs. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Three down, three down. G81, G81. Mike's 42. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Vincent picks him up around seven yards with that catch. Ross is hoping to boom this one down the field. He takes it in at the 14. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Drill at the 29 yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Got some open feet. They go to the left for a nice game. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. Call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. Second and long. Ball on their own 30. guy especially during passing situations because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback as we saw right there defense hoping for another sack here on third and long He's going to air it long. Incomplete for Werda. Was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. The punt. 
punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He's taken down at the 47. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Central Florida holds a field goal lead. And he's level at the 35. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. I think the secondary caught a break there with that ball being overthrown to the tight end. I know he's a big fella, but he's still a playmaker, and that big play written all over it. Catches it, and that's all. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 30. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at the 30. No game. That'll bring up fourth and five. On the throw, incomplete pass. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They're packed in tight on the line. Hill on the give. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. This is a team that knows when and how to attack on the ground. They have a very good sense for what plays will work when. From the 43-yard line, first down. He airs it out. Dropped. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second-half offense. The Knights lead it 3-0. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herb Street. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. The Knights continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. 
But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Up the middle for a nice game. Hill gains about four yards on the play. That makes it 76. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Nice run up the middle. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want us. They don't want another one. Third down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 51 Mike. Mike 51. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Townsend back deep to return. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. You're always looking for the home run return. The big highlight didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. We're about set to start things up again. Central Florida has a three-point lead. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. This quarterback is tough as man. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He makes it out to midfield. That's good for a game of two yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Complete. He's got room. Steps out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. First and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Central Florida is up by three. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Six-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. 
It's the tailback. And he's tackled around the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Got it to his man on the screen. And they make the stop at the 28. to punt. Brought down the 39-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. They hand it off again. He's at the 40, and they push him out at the 39. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 10-0, Knights. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Four down, four down. Mike 42, Mike 42. Cut, cut. He guns it. Got it. He's all the way. Touchdown. That score puts him in the driver's seat right now. Offensively, the question is, can the defense hold on here in the fourth quarter? He splits the uprights with the extra point. With a three-play, 60-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So the score now... 17-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game with four yards. That'll bring up third and six. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Caught out in the open. Tackle around the 49-yard line. Hey, I know there's not much time left in this game, and they're down big, but you never know. We've seen crazier things in college football. Maybe they get this ball into the end zone, recover an onside kick, and... Who knows, maybe they can come back and win this thing. Yeah. 
from the 49-yard line. First down. Throws it deep. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. A golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. Fires out to his wideout. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. Call it a gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down. Here on third down. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. Game of 12 on the play. First down. Just throws this one away. This is the eighth play of this drive. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick strike to the receiver. So the completion goes for about five yards and a first down. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. Here's the 11th play of the drive. it on the corner. Touchdown, Bulls! He makes the PAT. An 11-play, 81-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. He's tackling at the 48. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He tackles him for a loss. Call it a loss of three yards on the way. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 49-yard line. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Freeman gets three yards on the carry. The Bulls taking their first time out of the half. And he has it on the corner. He's at the 30, knocked out of bounds. Around the 28-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly. Giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. From the 28 yard line, it's first down. Ridgeway takes it up the middle. He makes it to the 25 yard line. South Florida will take their final timeout. Just under two minutes in the game. made right around the 24-yard line. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Three down, three down. Mike 42, Mike 42. They go. This is four. Go. 
quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Receiver's got the first down. He's tackled right around the 12 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 17-7, UCF. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? UCF comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you next time.